Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm Ming, AKA Kevin, and today I've got a real test route for you guys. So I'm over at Isleworth today, just showing you guys another test route. Okay, so at the mini roundabout, I'm gonna be turning right, so just checking my middle and right mirrors before I signal to my right hand side. Slowing down as I approach the junction, looking to my right, no one I need to give way to, so off we go safely. To my left hand side was uh, Isleworth Test, uh, Test Centre, uh, which is just back there, down Fleming Way. So I don't usually start these videos down the um, actual Test Centre road itself because it can be quite busy there and I don't really want to interrupt any uh, real driving tests which which will probably be taking place at this uh, at this very moment in time so yeah that's why I always start from the uh, the next road along um, anyway so this particular test route I'm going to be taking you through um, the exact route there's a couple of uh, difficult areas in this particular route um, namely some roundabouts on the A316 but I'll talk you through them as and when we uh, get to those particular roundabouts Anyway, so this particular road is Wharton Road. It's the road that you would probably be joining just as you, um, there's a police car behind me. So I'm just gonna pull over on the left just to let him overtake. He's gone, so let's crack on. Anyway, as I was saying, Wharton Road is probably the road you're gonna be turning either left or right on as soon as you exit the driving test center. Uh, if you go left, you're gonna be heading this direction. Um, let me just let's see what's going on at this particular roundabout going straight ahead second exit Right a lot of things going on there. Anyway, let's crack on. Let's get back to uh, what I was saying anyway So we're back on Wharton Road. So this actually now is Bridge Road. So after that mini roundabout um, The road changes to Bridge Road if you turn left at the mini roundabout back there you go down Wharton Road um, So we're going down Bridge Road um, We're heading down towards the traffic lights when we get to the traffic lights. We're going to be turning right uh, before we get to the traffic lights there's a humpback bridge which is coming up soon okay so if you come across any humpback bridges guys just remember to slow down a little bit because it can get quite narrow when you reach the top of the bridge um, and you want to be watching out for any vehicles coming from the other direction okay so when we get to the next mini roundabout I'll be following the road ahead just scanning the road ahead to see if there's anyone going to be turning into the road on my left hand side. Nope, there's no one coming out of that road either. At the traffic lights I'll be taking a right turn, so I'll be taking a right at the traffic lights. Just a little bit of traffic leading up to the uh, traffic lights here, guys. Uh, we are in Hounslow, so obviously Hounslow is a very busy area, um, as I'm sure you well know if you've got your test booked over at Isleworth Test Centre. Um, most of the roads around Isleworth are all 20 miles an hour, so if you're taking your test here, you're probably going to be driving around 80% of the roads at 20 miles an hour, which is a nice, fairly slow speed it just gives you plenty of time to scan the road ahead and look out for any um developing dangers um all right well there is a big big gap in the traffic here this lady in front hasn't moved i think she's playing on the fade to be honest oh, she's realized the uh, traffic in front has finally moved and decided to move up herself Okay, because we're turning right at the traffic lights, I'm going to be uh, planting myself in the right lane on approach to the lights. Keeping my side of the car just left of the centre of the road. Stopping a safe distance away from the vehicle in front, so just following the tyres and tarmac rule. Uh, which basically means you're going to be able to see a little bit of the road and the bottom of the tyres of the vehicle in front. Um, yeah, just waiting here patiently for the traffic lights to turn green. When the lights go green, I'll be turning right onto London Road. Right, and we're off guys, okay. Just checking my mirrors before we start moving in case a motorcyclist or cyclist has crept up near me. This 
it. He clearly isn't paying attention in front. Traffic lights turned green about 10 years ago and she was still faffing around. Not sure what she's doing. Keeps bending down to her. Uh, I don't know what she's doing in, in the front there, but not paying attention to the lights anyway. Which means now we've got to wait for the traffic lights to uh, go through another cycle before we can we can go. Hopefully when they do go green she's going to notice and uh, start driving this time. Right, and we're off. She's still not paying attention. <laughs> the car behind us had to give her a bit of persuasion there by way of sounding their, their horn. Right, so we're on London Road. This particular road, the speed limit is 30 miles an hour. Just looking ahead, there is a zebra crossing. Let's give the cyclist plenty of distance when I'm going past them. Uh, no one crossing at the zebra crossing, so it's safe to proceed. Right, just a little bit further up the road there, there is another zebra crossing, so as I'm approaching I'm just scanning left and right to make sure there's no pedestrians waiting to cross the road. There's also a Mini sticking out, so I'm just going to slow down a little bit and let the Mini pop out into the road first. Keeping a good distance away from the parts vehicles on my left hand side, in case anybody opens their door. Right, this van looks like he's going to turn, so I just need to slow down a little bit to allow him to turn into that road on my left hand side. There's a pedestrian running across the road now. So we're still on London Road. On my left hand side there's a college, I think it's called West Ham's College. Uh, coming up to a set of traffic lights in a minute. I'm just going to be going straight ahead at these set of traffic lights to continue with our test route. And then I'll be taking the next road on the left hand side, so taking the next road on the left, checking my, oh, let's get past these parked cars first, so checking my middle and left mirrors, left signal comes on, and then turning into Avenue Road. At the end of the road I'll be taking a right, so at the end of Avenue Road I'll be taking a right turn. So approximately 8 to 10 car lengths away from the junction, I'll be checking my middle and right mirrors. Signal right, it's a closed junction, so I'm going to slow the car down a little bit and pop back into first gear. I'm going to briefly stop here so I can ease out into the road and look properly both ways. It's a little bit close because my view is obstructed by the parts cars, so just slowly edging out, making sure I've got a good look both ways up and down the road before I co commit myself to the turn. At the end of the road I'll be turning left, so checking my middle and left mirrors, left signal. Staying well over to the left hand side. There's a couple of pedestrians here, I'm just going to allow them to cross the road first. And when I get to the end of the road I'm just going to be looking both ways again and making sure it's safe before I proceed. Looking safe and off we go. Right, so we're now on to College Road. It's very tight around here, there's loads of parts cars and it's uh, pretty narrow so be aware that there could be some tricky meeting traffic scenarios. Thank you very much Mr Audi driver, I'll be taking the next road on the right hand side so checking my middle and right mirrors, right signal, slowing the car down, looking ahead, turning into the road without cutting the corner. There is a car coming towards me, so I'm just going to slow down a bit and allow this car to move back onto their side of the road before I proceed. There's now a motorcyclist behind me, so just keeping an eye on him just in case they do try and overtake. End of the road, I'll be turning right, so checking my middle and right mirrors. Right signal on. Might be stopping at the giveaway lines here because it's very difficult to see. There's a pedestrian waiting to cross the road. I shall stop here and allow her to cross the road first. Okay, so just stopping at the giveaway lines. Looking both ways, 
looks fairly clear at the moment. Keep edging out till I can see more. Still looks clear, and off we go. Anyway, I'm back in a 20 mile an hour zone here, so obviously uh, can't be driving too fast. Don't want to be going too fast anyway, because there's a lot of speed humps and parked cars along this road. Just ahead of me, as you can see from the camera, there is a level crossing. Uh, basically a level crossing is a place where trains cross the road. So when the barriers are up and the lights are off, you can proceed to go. Make sure there's nothing in front of you so you don't block the, uh, the train tracks. At the end of the road, I'll be taking a left turn. So I'll be turning left at the end of the road, checking my middle and left mirrors and left signal on. Slowing the car down, a little bit of braking, clutch down, back into first gear. When I get to the end of the road, I'll be looking both ways to make sure it's safe before I proceed. Okay, good to go. So I've just turned out of Wood Lane and back onto London Road. So London Road was the road we were on earlier and we turned off onto Avenue Road, I think it was, and then we did a little loop and now we've come back onto London Road. Okay, so back on London Road, the speed limit is 30 miles an hour. Scanning left and right at the zebra crossing to make sure there's no one waiting or crossing the road. Keeping a safe distance behind the lorry in front, making sure I'm far enough so I've got a decent view of what's going on in front. There is a zebra crossing. Just going to slow down a little bit because the lorry has slowed down. And there's no one waiting to cross the road. Just want to maintain that safe distance behind the lorry. There's a bus lane on my left. It's an operation between seven a.m. till 7 p.m. so obviously you don't drive in there unless you're outside of those hours. Hidden behind this tree and on my left hand side there's a 20 sign uh, on both sides of the road so obviously now we're back in a 20 zone. Um, on my left there's a school, I think it's the green school and I'll be turning right at this particular junction. So it's a crossroad junction because I'm turning right obviously just lining myself up in the right hand side. There are three lanes here, the left lane goes left and then you've got the middle lane and the right lane. Check the mirrors, right signal on. Going to be waiting in the middle of the junction here. There's a yellow box. Um, we can actually stop inside the yellow box because we're turning right, so the rules state if you're turning right, you can wait inside the yellow box. Uh, just wait till the traffic clears up from ahead and then turn when it's safe to turn. Right, so what's the name of this road after that right turn? So we're now down Twickenham Road, coming to, up towards um, usually quite a busy section of road here where you've got on the left hand side just a little bit further up, it's West Mid Hospitals, trying to remember the name of the hospital there. Yeah, so West Middlesex Hospital, just coming up here on the left hand side. Um, well, a little bit further up on the left. Bit of activity going on here today. So we've got a parts lorry on the right hand side with lots of uh, cars being offloaded I think and then you've got some uh, traffic coming towards us from the other direction and then on my left hand side is here in fact is West Mid Hospital coming up to West Mid Hospital there's a zebra crossing so again just scanning left and right to make sure there isn't anyone waiting to cross the road or actually crossing the road um, like I said before, this section of road tends to be quite busy, so if you're stuck in traffic for a little while, don't be surprised. Right, just going to keep the crossing clear. There's a few pedestrians on the left-hand side. Right, safe to carry on. There's a yellow box, so make sure you don't block the yellow box. There's a car waiting to come out of the hospital. He's spotted me, so we can carry on driving. Right, just going past the hospital now. Going past another school on the right hand side, I think it's Isleworth Town School I believe. Um, yep, yeah, back is still in the 20 zone here, so anyway we're not we're not going any faster than you know about eight miles an hour at the moment with the traffic. Um, just still keeping a safe distance behind the vehicle in front. There's a set of traffic lights here, so it's, it's a traffic light controlled uh, pedestrian crossing, so look out for anyone standing either on the left or the right, so they might have pressed the button. If they've pressed the button, then just be aware the lights could change. Just after the, um, the pedestrian crossing here, you've got another yellow box, <coughs> so be careful you don't block these yellow boxes. Just watching the vehicle in front, make sure that vehicle clears the box before I proceed. 
plenty of room for me to fit over the other side of the road. I mean, not only do you cause congestion if you block the box, if you're unlucky, there could be a camera watching you and you're gonna be uh, hit, with the, hit with a fine. There's plenty of cameras around here, being in the borough of Hounslow. <coughs> Hounslow, Hounslow um, Council love making a bit of money out of uh, motorists driving in bus lanes and stopping in boxes and stuff like that. So there's another bus lane here on my left, actually. It says at any time, so basically that means don't drive in there at all. It's in operation 24-7. Uh, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. So yeah, never go inside that bus lane unless you want the possibility of, of getting a fine. Um, so coming up in a moment is a mini roundabout. At the mini roundabout, we'll just be following the road ahead. Um, it's gonna take a little while before we get to that roundabout because of the, uh, the traffic jam at the moment. <coughs> Yeah, so, so far the uh, test route hasn't been too difficult. We've come out of the test centre, we've gone down a fairly narrow narrow kind of road, Wharton Road. Uh, there's always parts cars on both sides of the road on that particular road, so just be wary of any meeting, um, meeting traffic scenarios. We've headed down that road, gone all the way down towards the traffic lights, turned right onto London Road. Yeah, and then after that there's not really been any any kind of tricky roads to deal with. So. Um, we have got a couple of roundabouts coming up though, so when we get to those roundabouts, I'll be giving you step-by-step -step, uh, talk through of how to deal with those particular roundabouts. Anyway, we've got this mini roundabout to deal with first. We're going straight on here, just giving way to the right-hand side. This car cars are coming from ahead, which has blocked the traffic coming from my immediate right, which means that uh, meant that I had a little window of opportunity there just to nip across that mini roundabout. Um, I've got a green light here. It's a um, pedestrian crossing again. So let's look. Let's look left and right to see if there's anyone who could have pressed the button. Doesn't look like anyone's pressed the button, so it's safe to carry on. And then we've got another mini roundabout. So we're just following the road ahead here, taking the second exit. Make sure we check carefully to the right-hand side. All right, there's no one turning. These cars on the left. Just make sure they're not going to pull out in front of you because as I slowed down there to check if there was anyone coming from my right hand side, they thought they might have the chance to nip out in front of me. Um, as there was nothing coming from my right, obviously I carried on going and then they stopped again, but you've got to check back to your left hand side just to make sure those cars haven't driven out in front of you because some of them are quite, quite eager and they might be quite quick and just dart out in front of you. So yep, give way to the right, but always check to your left to make sure it's safe to, uh, to drive out into the road. Right, just avoiding the cycle lane here. After the cycle lane, I'll be checking my middle and left mirrors, just moving back completely over to the left, because that's the lane I need to go straight at these traffic lights. There is another yellow box here, so make sure I don't block this box. Completely fine to carry on, because there was plenty of space there to fit across. Right, we're still on Twickenham Road. Um, yep, so when we reach the very end of this road, there'll be a big roundabout. London Road roundabout. When we get to that roundabout, we're going to be turning right third exit. Okay, so that particular roundabout is quite scary. A lot of my pupils in the past have found that particular roundabout uh, quite a daunting place to be. Uh, it's a very fast paced roundabout. There's no traffic lights, so you have to decide when it's safe to jump into the uh, jump into the roundabout and go around with the rest of the cars. Um, but yeah, when we get there, I'll be uh, talking you through what I'm thinking and how I'm going to tackle that roundabout. So as I said, we'll be taking a right turn, third exit. Um, it'll be signposted towards Staines. Um, yeah, not too much going on at the moment down Twickenham Road, just stuck in this little bit of traffic. And yeah, just heading down the road towards another set of traffic lights. And at the traffic lights, we'll be going straight ahead. Uh, so the traffic lights is where IV Bridge Retail Park is, where you've got Asda and a few other shops. Uh, you might probably recognise the area if you've done a few lessons around here with your driving instructor. Um, and for, for those local people who live around here, taking a test around here, you probably know the, the area quite well. So when we arrive at the traffic lights, like I said, we're going to be following the road ahead. There'll be two lanes there, so just make sure you follow the left lane to uh, allow yourself to go straight. There is a cycle lane on my left hand side, so I'm just avoiding the cycle lane so I don't unnecessarily drive inside it. 
as I'm about to go past the cycle lane I'll check my mirrors middle and left there's no cyclists coming up beside me so I can safely fully return back to the left lane in order to go straight at those traffic lights um, all right there's a parked van in front of me so I'll just be checking my middle and right mirrors before I slightly change my position and move slightly to the right just making sure there's no motorcyclists overtaking me for example another traffic light controlled crossing here no pedestrians around traffic lights are unlikely to change so we're on the approach now to London Road roundabout we're going to be turning right like I said it'll be taking the third exit it's signposted for Staines the southwest going towards the M3 traveling along the A316 because I'm turning right taking exit number three which is my three o'clock direction I'll be approaching in the right hand side lane as I get a little bit closer to the roundabout, checking my middle and right mirrors, right indicator comes on. That lorry's in the left lane. Plenty of room for me to get into my right lane, which is the correct position to be. Checking to my right hand side now to make sure it's safe before I go. Looks pretty safe at the moment. Sticking to the right lane as I go around the roundabout. Going past the second exit now, checking middle and left mirrors. Left signal comes on, nobody in the left lane. And off I come safely. At the next roundabout, I'll be turning right, taking the third exit. So I need to get back in the right lane. Checking middle and right mirrors. Right signal on. Car coming up behind me, but it's quite far away, so I can safely change lanes. That's the tricky part of this test route, where you've got to do a lane change there. Sometimes it's quite busy. On this occasion it wasn't too busy so it's fairly easy to change lanes. Okay so I'm going right third exit at the next roundabout towards Twickenham Rugby Stadium. Um, Alright I'll show you what to do here. So we're in the right lane. As I, as I join the roundabout I'm going to make sure I follow this, this lane here behind this uh, van. And it's actually the second lane from the left. So you've got a choice of basically when you're in the right lane joining the roundabout. Uh, this is London Road Roundabout. So when you're, um, sorry, Witten, Witten Road Roundabout. So when you're joining Witten Road Roundabout from the direction behind me, you've actually got a choice of three different lanes to choose. So I've chosen the one basically in the middle here, which allows me to go around to the right hand side, but still be in the left lane of the roundabout. Okay, just checking my right mirrors here to make sure there's no one trying to overtake me. As I move across here, this car in ahead of me can get ahead of me now. So the lanes kind of just zip up, so usually it's just one from the left and one from the right. <clears throat> and it zips up back together into one lane. And the traffic lights, I'm going straight ahead. So this is the traffic lights just by um, the Twickenham Rugby Stadium. Um, to go straight ahead at this particular traffic lights, from this direction you need to follow the right lane because the left lane only goes towards, uh, sorry, only is for turning left. So you've got to use the right lane there to go straight. And of course, once you come off the A316, you're back inside a 20 mile an hour speed zone. Um, as indicated by the signs and the massive road markings you can see on the tarmac. Looking left and right here at the zebra crossing. No one waiting to cross the road, so safe to carry on. I'm driving at 20 miles an hour. Uh, obviously, it's a fairly slow speed and you're gonna find people tailgating me like I have at the moment. I mean, you can't see them, but there is a, a white van driver and is literally stuck to the uh, bumper of my car at the moment. Uh, but anyway, he can stay there because it's 20 mile an hour and I can't go any faster than the speed limit. Uh, if he wants to overtake, he can. If he doesn't, he can just wait. Uh, be taking a left turn at the roundabout. Checking my middle and left mirrors, left signal on. As I get a little bit closer to the roundabout, checking towards my right hand side. There's a motorbike coming, but he's come off the roundabout now. The person coming out of Tesco's was taking the, ex the first exit, so no problem for me to carry on going. Round the bend, onto Witten Dean. Speed limit still remains at 20 miles an hour. I'll be taking the next road on the right hand side, which is coming up soon after a couple of bends. Just checking my rear view mirror. The van driver behind is still very close. Not sure what his problem is. Maybe he's got a problem uh, with my slow speed, but yeah, just overtake if you want to, mate, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, so I'll be taking the next road on the right-hand side, checking my middle and right mirrors. Right signal one. Just 
Just lining myself up with the middle of the road. Checking inside the road and the road ahead. There's nothing coming, so in we go. Right, so I've got to head down the middle bit here because they've put a uh, like a black post just as you enter the road there, which made it a little bit awkward turning into the road. That must be fairly new, never noticed that before, but mind you, I've not driven down this road for probably, uh, I don't know, actually, maybe a couple of months now, so. Anyway, so this is Arnold Crescent. We'll be going round in a semicircle back onto Witten Dean, and then when we get back on to Witten Dean, we'll be uh, turning right. This pedestrian just stepped onto the road. Didn't see her turn ahead around to look to see if there was any cars coming. Maybe she uh, used her ears and heard my car coming, but yeah, pretty dangerous, eh? Stepping out onto the road like that. Um, so there's another bend coming up here. I'll just be following the bend around to the left hand side. As I can't see around the bend, I'm just going to ease off the gas and slow down a little bit. I'm going to select first gear actually here just to go a little bit slower, give myself more time to. Uh, look around the corner and if there was someone coming around the corner I'd be able to stop a lot easier as well. At the end of the road like I said I'll be turning right so checking my middle and right mirrors, right signal comes on, slowing the car down by, little, by pressing the brake a little bit, clutch goes down, back into first gear, it's a closed junction here so I'm going to stop for a moment, nothing coming from my right, I need to ease out a little bit here because there's a van on the left and I can't see past the van. I can now and it's safe to go so off we go at the next mini roundabout i'll be taking the right turn so middle and right mirrors and right signal checking my right hand side there is a black peugeot he's turning the other direction so no problem for me to carry on and then off you go so we down hall road i believe yep hall road still 20 mile an hour speed limit Parts cars on both sides, so the road's reasonably narrow. Um, but yeah, just make sure you're keeping a safe distance away from the parked vehicles. Make sure the vehicle coming towards you is uh, driving properly so they're not too far over in your side of the road. And in most cases, you can fit three cars down here. One parts car, you through the middle, and a car coming from the other side. So this van is waiting for me. Thank you very much. Bus drivers just pull out, pulled out from the road on the left-hand side. Um, yep, checking my middle and right mirrors because I need to move a little bit further out to the right to avoid these parts vehicles. Yeah, just keeping to the uh, 20 mile an hour speed limit as you uh, drive down Hall Road. So yeah, we're not too far now from the test centre, so just returning back to the, uh, the drive and test centre where I'll be ending this video. Um, but yeah, as you can see from this particular test route, the main, the main difficult areas would be probably uh, London Road roundabout, right third exit there, and then obviously when you come off the roundabout moving back over to the left lane because the left lane is for normal driving, and then when you're on the A316 changing back into the right lane because you, you'd be turning right at the next roundabout afterwards which was a uh, Witten Road roundabout taking the third exit there. So yeah, I think really that's probably the most tricky part of this particular test route. Everywhere else has been fairly straightforward. Um, but yeah, that's not to say that it's going to be the same all the time. I mean, it just depends. Sometimes the uh, the road traffic conditions might be a little bit busier. Um, but yeah, on today today's occasion, it wasn't too busy. There was a bit of traffic down Twickenham Road. But yeah, it was, it was to be expected really down that particular road. It's always busy down there. So if you're taking your test in Isleworth, yeah, Twickenham Road, yeah, just... Uh, don't be surprised if, if you get stuck in traffic down that particular road. All right, so just turning right at this mini roundabout on Wharton Road at the moment. So turning right here, it just continues to be Wharton Road. And on my left-hand side is uh, Bridge Road. As I mentioned earlier at the start of the driving test route. Right, checking middle and right mirrors. Nobody overtaking me, safe to carry on. quite handy sometimes when you've got a bus in front of you because they kind of paved the way for you. Everyone kind of gets out of their way which leaves a bit of space for you to fit through sometimes. Um, it's not making too much of a difference at the moment because there's not a lot of traffic on this particular road but yeah sometimes having a larger vehicle does help because you know you know if they can manage to fit through then yeah obviously you can. 
right, looks like the bus might be pulling over on the left. I think it's giving way to another bus, so I'm just going to pull over to the left and stop behind it. It's actually a learner bus driver coming through, so made sure I was very much so over to the left hand side because there is a parked car on my right and obviously the, the white bus coming towards me now needs a bit of extra room to fit through the gap there. Initially I did think the bus was stopping at a bus stop but then I double checked, looked, to the, looked towards the pavement and there was no bus stop there and then I checked the road ahead and obviously from the bend I could see there was a, a huge bus coming uh, which then prompted me obviously to move over to the left hand side keep out of the way of the oncoming bus um, so yeah guys don't be in a hurry to overtake any buses you see pulling up on the left hand side can you imagine if I actually went and overtook the bus that would have been embarrassing wouldn't it because then there would have been enough bus coming towards me and I would have nowhere to go but um, yeah, I can see that could have been a potential mistake for someone on their driving test to overtake the bus, thinking it was a bus stop, um, only to become, you know, to encounter another vehicle coming in the opposite direction. So always check carefully before you commit yourself. Right, turning left here, checking middle and left mirrors. Left signal comes on. Bus is going ahead at the mini roundabout. I'm turning left. No one I need to give way to. And that's it, guys. That's pretty much the end of the test route. Usually you'd go straight at the roundabout and then take the next road on the right, Fleming Way, that will take you back to Isleworth Drive and Test Centre. But I'm not going to go down there, as I said, because it's busy and don't want to annoy anyone. Um, but yep, yeah, hope you enjoyed that test route, guys. There'll be more to come in the future. Um, comment below if there's anything you're not sure about. And please, uh, please like and uh, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.